Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here at Comic-Con 2019. Now Comic-Con has all manner of pop culture items. I'm obsessed with the designer toys. And this is the godfather right here. This is I Ben. Know. Yeah, Ben is the creator of Decon, Designer Con. It's my new mecca. It's in the fall. Thank you. And you guys have a booth here because you also run uh, 3D Retro. I do, yeah. 3D Retro, we are a uh, collectible toy store located in Glendale, California. We've been around since 2003. Uh, we opened up an actual retail store in 2013. And uh, we actually produce vinyl figures as well as sell collectible vinyl and collectible figures from all over the world in our shop. We're, we always used to advertise like, we're the toy store that carries the toys that Toys R Us won't. Absolutely, and it lets me discover those artists. I mean, yes. one of the best things about going to Decon is meeting not just local manufacturers of toys and one-offs, but also companies over in Asia and Europe who are doing some awesome, awesome toys. Absolutely, yeah, and uh, you know, they always have a hard time trying to get their toys out here to the U.S. The collectors want them, the buyers want them. You know, they definitely want them to make it to the U.S. They just don't know how. And luckily, we've been able to contact a lot of these companies. And even though they sell out, a lot of their stuff just never makes it out to the U.S., we're sometimes able to get a small allotment and bring them out to the collectors out here. You're doing the outreach. And so companies, I want to talk about a couple of things here. Uh, you have some exclusives at Comic-Con from 1,000 Toys. We do. Now, 1,000 Toys, uh, I love them. They make the Wegos, which are those wonderful mechs. They're, they're so cherubic and like the finish on the, the metallics. They're, they're so great. They're so great. And yeah. you guys have a kit now. We do. Uh, there is This is the Wego uh, model kit. And these, you know, just the regular uh, model kit that you can find in a hobby shop and these only go for like $15. So for the collectors this is like just a quick easy thing to purchase, not a lot of money and you have a lot of fun with these. And the Thousand Toys figures, because I know they've worked with companies like Dark Horse for the Hellboy figure, yes. like they're known for articulation and they they're are. known for not only at the 6th scale stuff but also at the 12th scale. Yeah. Lots of great double joint elbows, knees, you got ab crunch. Absolutely. So, perfect example. Yeah, well, so you mentioned the Hellboy, but uh, one of the other artists that they work with over in Japan is actually Punk Drunkers. Very popular in Japan, have a collector base out here in the US. They created a Sentinel figure with them, and this is one of them. This is the red version, which is kind of a con exclusive. So we were able to get a couple of them out here for San Diego. Very cool. And then for people who love video games, they know Kojima Productions. Oh yeah. And it's one of those things that no other toy company would make, but they made their their mascot into oh, yeah. a six scale figure. And that's exactly what we've got going on here. Uh, this guy is crazy. And the articulation, like you said, with the Sentinel toys is so amazing. And the cost is a little bit higher than what you would find in other 1-6 scale figures, but it's totally worth it because of what they do in terms of the armor, the costumes, the accessories, the extra hands, the extra flags, the additional faces, like, it's insane. And yeah, we were able to get about only 50 of these into the US, so for the collectors out there, this, uh, this was their chance to actually get one. What, something I also love about the discovery of these artists, overseas artists, is not just the unique aesthetic approach they have, which is different than some Western sensibilities, but the calm response is the exchange of ideas. Oh, yeah. They're obsessed with Western culture, and their takes on Western like iconography, like this is Tom and Jerry, but oh, yeah. a uniquely Asian take on it, like that's almost like a food dog. Yeah, so the artist is Tika from the East. Um, you know, artists out of Asia. There's done a lot of stuff out there, not very well known in the US, aside from, once again, the collector base. And they've, um, the artists teamed up with a company out here called Toy Cube, which is well known in the US market for vinyl collectibles, as well as resin. And this is, that's what this is. This is actually a polystone bust. Very heavy item, but clearly you can see the mix of the Asian culture with the American pop culture and the licensing aspects there, and they were able to create a very, very cool limited edition collectible figure that you just can't find anywhere else. Yeah, and that's with a collaboration with Keith over at Toy Cube, because yep. he's been designing toys for a long time as well. Oh, yeah. And so you, you dive into that a little bit, we do. and you work with artists, and 
I didn't get to see this at Decon this past year because I had a baby, but this was the big showpiece. Jurassic Park was a big thing yeah. at Decon. This is a collaboration with Nichos? This is, yeah, so it's a, an artist out of Austria. His name is Nichos. He's actually done a mural of the T-Rex before. We teamed up uh, last year at Designer Con, and we teamed up with Universal to celebrate their 25th anniversary of the original Jurassic Park movie. One of the things that we did was uh, we got the license to get these artists from around the world to kind of take their take on the dinosaurs. And we had to change a couple of things around to meet the requirements of the Jurassic Park T-Rex as opposed to just a regular T-Rex. But we were able to create this beautiful 14 inch, highly detailed, dissected T-Rex designed by Nichos. And it is based on his incredibly iconic murals, oh, yeah. giant murals he puts on the sides of buildings. Nichos is just a celebrated pop artist. Oh, yeah. Um, and this is the kind of stuff. I'm so sad I missed Designer Con last year, but I'm going to be there. It's in November this, this year? This year. This year. It's going to be November 22nd through the 24th. It's going to be awesome. Tickets are on sale right now at designercon.com. And um, there's going to be so much more this year. We're, you know, last year was our first year in Anaheim. It was kind of a transition year. Uh, a lot of people were interested in us to see what would happen. It happened, it was great, and we're coming back stronger and bigger and a lot more surprises than last year, so it's gonna be amazing. And I gotta make my way over to 3 Retro, check out your collection. Please. I know you, you started the shop so you have a place to put all your, your collectibles, right? That's, it's why we would all do it. Still, not enough room for everything, <laughs> not, enough, not room. enough room. Ben, it's a pleasure, great to see you at Comic-Con. Absolutely, thank you.